Hi guys, it's Karen with Love Your Land. And uh, I'm not sure why it's never occurred to me before to do a video on these units, but it did occur to me today. So um, I get a lot of questions and a lot of, uh, I thought that door was opening. I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of people asking me for the link um, and that sort of thing. So I figured it makes sense to just do a video. In fact, I woke up this morning and I had a message from somebody asking questions about um, the, actually using these domes. So if I had, thought this through. I think by now you know I don't think these things through. It's sort of like, I think my videos are more like current events, like whatever happens that day, <laughs> whatever pops into my head, that's what I do a video on. I have no plan. So, um, but if I had had a plan and I had thought this through, I would have done like the unboxing of this unit because I just got this one, it's new. Obviously you can tell that one's not. I have three. Um, I, this must be the oldest one. So this one's about five, this one is five years old. That one's, less old and this one I just got a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'll tell you exactly, I got it. No, I can't tell you, I can't read that anyway. It was a week and a half ago or so. Um, but this time, so it does come with this, this unit here, if you can see this. And what this is for is you can actually, if you get two, so they just go ahead and give you that, you can go like this, put them together, and then your lights can go this way. Whoopsie. Your lights can go this way, and then if you had like four of these, you can cut your the amount of plugs you need in half because this thing will plug into each of them like this. So then you only have one plug. Um, and this is cool too because then they just get that much more sort of the lights bouncing off more, um, b bouncing off the extra light that's in there. Why isn't this turning on? Did I unplug it? No. I didn't. I don't know why it's not the turning on, but anyway, there's one. You get the idea. I, I don't know what I did. Sometimes this plug doesn't work. It's a miracle. Anyway, so you can, if you get two units, you know, over time, or if you just have extra cash and can invest in two at a time, then you have this situation, and this is really cool. This is how I have them set up over there. Um, and I know this is messing up the lighting, so I'm gonna turn those off. Eventually, there we go. Uh, so that, anyway, it comes with this thing and that's what that is for. So it's pretty cool. Um, it also this time came with, they just sort of threw in an extra and I think that's really nice. It, it came with a smart pot, a one gallon smart pot. It's these, um, they're like felt or something, but they're, they're breathable and anyway, I've never tried them before, but I, I'll definitely put something in this and grow it because that was pretty nice to get. <coughs> um, what else? Oh, the uh, these units. So I had a really hard time. I was, you know when you're Googling something and you just keep Googling it the wrong way? That's what happened with these. So these little bulbs in here, the little T5s, which by the way, they're T5s, which is great. Um, they, I, I, from what I understand from my garden center guy, they created these units and but they didn't yet have the replacement bulbs for them because they, you know, you don't need them right away. They last a couple years and they figured they had some times. So it took a, they weren't available before, but now they are available. But if you try and go find this little T5 in your Home Depot and your Lowe's, you're not gonna find it. Um, not this size. There's 24 inch, I think is what it is, but these are 18. Um, so if you have any trouble with that, um, message me. If you need new bulbs, message me and I'll, I'll try to figure out, I'll try to help you figure out where to get them. Um, because again, they, it was just my garden center that had them. And there's, they're actually Sun Blaster manufactured bulbs. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's see, what is the next thing? The next thing is I had, so one comment the other day, um, yesterday, I think it was from Ken. Um, he asked, he said that he'd heard that these domes can lead to, lead to damping off. Um, and I'm, maybe that's happened to somebody somewhere in the world at some point, but um, I'm here to tell you my experience and that is that has never happened to me. Um, these domes are no different than, you know, when I take the lids off because I wanna check out everybody or water or whatever, when I take it off, it just feels like I just walked into a greenhouse. It's exactly what it's like, just smaller. So, um, and 
also, I've had seedlings dry out in here. It doesn't, it's not a self-watering situation. It's just humid and, and these plants like that. But I've, they will dry out. So, you know, I mean, I have, I probably get, probably have to water a little less, but than if they were just out in the open, you know, but no, they definitely will dry out. And damping off doesn't happen from just plain old humidity. It happens from overwatering, where you literally like cut off the oxygen supply of that root system and they're goners. So don't overwater. Um, and that leads me to my next point. Somebody this morning messaged me. I need to get back to her still, but she was asking how often should she water the, um, the seeds when it's just seeds and soil in a pot. And that depends on where you live. If you're in Georgia, probably a lot less often than I have to here in very arid, dry Colorado. Um, but usually, you know, the average for me is at night, once at, once a day, and I just do it at night, I don't know why. Um, and how much? I take a, a spray bottle. Now I have one of those pump sprayer things, but it, I'm, pretty much everybody has a spray bottle. So I just use a spray bottle I'm lying. I did. I don't anymore, but just use a spray bottle. Okay, just use a spray bottle. And I would put, I would just put like 12 squirts of water in each pot. Don't ask me why 12. It was somewhere along the line that seemed like the right amount. And then I just did that. I did, you know, everything the same for all of them. And it works. You know, you don't want them to be soaking wet. You don't want to pour water into pots of seeds. Um, you don't want them to be drenched, soggy. Your seeds are going to rot or not and or not germinate if you do that. So just keep the soil moist, don't let it dry out, just like normal, and you'll be fine. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I've also mentioned in the past that the, the only complaint, it's not a complaint, but the only thing kind of like if I had a wish list for this unit, the only thing I would add to it is that this light was lower, I mean it just isn't possible, it's like, one or the other. But if this light were lower for when they're this small, because I would rather have this light like these guys, these are all the way up. So this light is literally like right on top of them. Um, for these guys, it's like, there's three or four inches before they get to the light. So if it could be a little closer, that would make me happy. I probably just messed up my microwave, microwave, <laughs> microphone. Um, but anyway, they, you know, they generally grow so fast. It doesn't really, it doesn't pose a problem. In fact, the other day, between these guys being together with the lights like this, then I have another girl light on top, and they're in a south facing window, I looked over and these black beauties in, in the front, oh, he's kind of wilting right now too. I think they're just wimpy. Um, the black beauties in the front of this one, which were on this side, they weren't even all the way, you know, they weren't closest to the window. They were wilting. And I was like, oh no. So I, I was like, I, it has to be that they're too hot. So I took the light off and I actually took a picture of this. I meant to post it on Facebook, I forgot. Just remembered that I did that. Um, this is what I did. I, put, I took them out of the south facing window. I put them on the table and then I wanted to give them, cool them down a little but I didn't want to change their environment temperature and whatnot drastically. So what I did, if this works right now, it'll be a miracle, but I took a pen and I set it, well, see, it's not, it's not happening right now, but kind of like this. I don't know how I made it work over there, but I did. So the point is, you know, you have to work on that, but look at them, aren't they beautiful? Um, so I propped it open a bit, is the point, and then I turned on a fan, an oscillating fan on low, and, and they were, you know, a good five feet from it, so it wasn't like they were getting blown to smithereens. They just were getting some airflow, getting cooled down a little bit, um, and then they perked back up. So uh, the, the light being this far away is not really an issue. <sighs> Let's see, is there anything else off the top of my head? Yes, one more thing, this is important. So if you get these, if you get one of these domes, and by the way, I didn't say this, I'm not being paid by Sun Blaster or anything like that, um, like other reviews of other things I've done in the past, they don't even know I'm doing this video. So. Um, I'm just doing this because I love these so much and you guys ask me questions about them, so it seems to make sense. So up top, here and here, there are vents, that little turny things. When you start your seeds, this is important, 
when you start your seeds, so you just have seeds and soil in a pot, you close them off completely. And that's gonna keep what's in here at the most even temperature and the most even humidity level, and it'll be perfect for optimum germination, speedy germination too. Then once they sprout, you open it about halfway. So once they've germinated and they've come up and they're little guys, and they look like they're never gonna be a real plant, just open it halfway. So that way they're getting a little bit of, a little more air circulation, but they still have a pretty, pretty cocoon-like incubator type of environment. Then once they're this big, sorry, um, once they're, you know, big guys like these guys, then you open it all the way up. So that's the, the answer to that question, which would definitely come up at some point. <laughs> um, I think that's it. I, 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 I feel like there's something else I'm missing, but um, I, the price, that's what I'm missing. So two things. One, you cannot buy directly from SunBlaster unless you're a wholesaler. So um, if you go to SunBlaster's site, it's just going to be like, what's your zip code? I'll find you a store. So you can do that. Or you can go to Amazon, where I've gotten two of mine. And there's a, I forgot the name of the distributor, if they're watching, sorry about that. It's National Wholesale something or other, I forget. But I'm going to post the link below. Um, and it is through Amazon. It's, I mean, they're just a seller on Amazon, but you can buy through them. And their speed, their shipping was speedy. Their, the order got here right away. Um, everything was packaged really nicely. I was really impressed to tell you the truth. Um, so I will put the link for that there. And I've also mentioned in the past that like last year, I think I said, they're always $40. Like from five years ago when I started buying these things, they were $40 then, they're $40 now. They actually creeped up a little bit and now they're 50. So, um, but you know, I, for what you get out of it, and these light bulbs you only have to change every couple of years and the bulbs are only $8, I'd say that's a perfectly fine price point for something like this. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. If I have to edit this out, it's gonna be annoying because I hate editing anything out. But one other thing, just the other day somebody said they didn't care for these units when they checked them out because they just seemed too flimsy. And I agree with you that they do seem too flimsy. I definitely agree with you on that. So this is just a little plastic thing. You can hear it. Um, and then this, I don't go over there. <clears throat> this is just, it's it's basically your standard tray, seedling tray, but it's a, it's a little sturdier than that. And they last, definitely last longer than the little cheapo 10 cent ones you get at the garden center. But so that's all it is, um, except for, then of course you have your light. But, so that by itself, when you just take it out of the box, yeah, it's, it's flimsy, because it's, it's all, it's as, it's as sturdy as it needs to be, because once you get all of these in here, now it's all weighed down, and you know, nothing goes anywhere. I mean, unless you're carrying it around, that's a little tricky, but how often do you have to carry around your seedling dome? Probably not very often. So, and then this light weighs it down a bit too. So, again, I agree that they seem, rather flimsy before you start using them. But once all your plants are in there, all those pots with all that soil, they're exactly as sturdy as they need to be. So don't worry about that. Um, anyway, I think that's it. If you have any questions, post a comment below or go over to Facebook and ask me there and I will answer you. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.